I grew up around trucks and my dad was a truck mechanic. So watching him work on the trucks, seeing all the rigs come in, made me want to do it from a kid. Tashana Allen is six months into a two-year truck driving traineeship in Geraldton, north of Perth. Yeah, I like to drive long distance. I find it quite fun, crank the music up, just drive, you see all the countryside. I don't know, and you just feel free, you don't have to worry about anyone, it's just you and your truck. Unfortunately, not everyone sees the appeal. Australia's trucking industry is facing a chronic driver shortage. It's incredibly dire at the moment. We've got a situation where we've got this growing freight task. We're unable to fill the jobs that we've got. And SEEK is telling us that there's about 21,000 vacancies. We've had shortages for years, but nothing like we've got right now. State border closures and COVID-19 testing during the pandemic gave Australians a taste of what happens when trucks stop moving. So you need the trucks to get everything where it's got to go. You don't get fuel, food, everything. So you need the drivers then. And there's simply not enough of them. The vast majority of Australian truckies are men with an average age of 47. So we've got these guys who spent many, many years behind the wheel that are now retiring and no one to take their place. So the industry needs to be targeting young people. Tashana is learning the ropes from veteran truckie Heather Jones. So do you want to start wine? Sure. The industry sees employment-based training as the best way to attract more young people and has been pushing for apprenticeships to be introduced in every state and territory. Ultimately, the workforce is going to just continue to get older and we're going to suffer that problem. It's, it's what the apprenticeship is designed to do, is to try to build that pathway so we don't lose school leavers, see them going off to other opportunities. Tasmania and Queensland were the first to adopt heavy vehicle apprenticeships earlier this year, while Western Australia is still considering it, instead investing in a six-week driver course and cutting TAFE fees. If people can show that there's a great merit in undergoing a traineeship or apprenticeship in transport or other sectors of the economy, then we will be supporters of that and will invest with state and territory governments to provide the skills employers need. It's just one possible solution to this massive problem. Another is attracting more female truckies. Despite long being seen as an obvious fix to the driver deficit, women continue to make up just 3% of the industry. Lee Roberts is one of them. The single mum has been driving trucks for 17 years and says it was a lot easier to find work before she had her two children. It is really difficult. The companies out there read the resume and go, oh wow, you know, you've got all your tickets, you, you can do this, and it's like, yeah, cool, but I need to get back to school to pick the kids up. So, uh, oh no, that won't work. <laughs> Lee eventually found a company willing to take her on part-time to work around her childcare needs. There is a driver shortage, and there are women out there and mums out there that want to work. They need to know that there's companies that are willing to give them that flexibility. Opening up opportunities to women during school hours, they can perhaps drive the trucks during those hours, and also split shifts where perhaps um, someone can do from six to 12, and then 12 to six. With an estimated 30,000 extra drivers needed over the next five years, more women won't be enough. The industry says it also needs more migrants and is calling on the federal government to add truck drivers to the priority skilled migration list. We're reviewing all of the shortage lists to see whether they reflect, uh, the, pro reflect the economy properly and that includes examining whether in fact uh, the, uh, the, the, tr the transport sector should be more prominent when it comes to the shortage lists. In the lead up to Christmas, we'll all be relying on drivers like Tashana to deliver our online shopping on time and keep the supermarkets stocked. Once fully qualified, she wants to drive cattle trucks along the long stretches of road to station country in Western Australia's far north. Yeah, it does make you feel good that you're helping the country out. I know you're only one in heaps of people, but that one person can make a big difference.